Let's look at reproduction in parasites, specifically the malaria parasite. The parasites that cause malaria reproduce differently in different stages of their life cycle. Malarial parasites spend part of their life cycle in the body of a female mosquito and part of their life cycle in the blood and organs of human beings. Both sexual and asexual reproduction are part of the life cycle of the malaria parasite. Asexual reproduction is not an alternative if conditions are bad. It is actually part of the life cycle of the parasite. When the mosquito takes her blood meal and bites the human, the drop in temperature between the human body and the mosquito triggers sexual reproduction in some of the parasites inside the red blood cells. There is a 20-minute window when the sexual forms develop. It bursts out of the blood cells and then the sexual forms meet. They form zygotes with two N chromosomes, diploid zygotes, and then these zygotes undergo meiosis to produce new asexual parasites. And when this mosquito goes to bite another human and take their blood, these asexual parasites will infect the new host, the new human host, and spend their asexual lives, have an asexual life cycle in the cells of the blood, the red blood cells specifically of the new host, as well as the liver cells of the new hosts. And parasites show a lot of variation because they have a sexual part of their life cycle where variation is produced.